guys, this is Crively with another product review and today I'm going to have a look at a product that I've had since many months and that I just never got around doing a review of. So I'm glad that today I finally get around doing a review of these. And this is a number of Dux sharpeners. Um, very beautiful products. I really like those and uh, I have three of them. Uh, and I just wanted to go through these. I mean, that one here is the most basic one. Uh, they have certain model numbers. It's a, it's a D something number combinations. I don't remember those really at the moment, but I'm going to write them into the YouTube video and in the comment section below on the video description and also on the blog post that accompanies this video. It's actually brass sharpeners. Brass does pick up patina when you use it and you see normally it's like, like gold, well, brass color. Uh, in fact, and you already see that that one here has picked up quite a good patina because I've been using that for uh, for really a good amount of time uh, by now. As I said, I um, wanted to review those for quite a while. Finally, I got around to do that. This one here is the most simple one, so to speak. I think that costs around five euro. Those two are a little bit more, you know, not advanced, but have a little bit more going on to them. They cost around 15 euro each. Um, let me unpack that one here. Comes with this really neat little leather storage pouch or whatever you might want to call that. Um, you can actually use that to give your pencils different points. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, essentially, it they're all made on the base of the same sharpener, at least that is how it looks or what it looks like to me. That is the simple one. And this is a round one, as I said, cost also cost, that cost around 15 euro, um, which is like, um, I think that is supposed to be some kind of a like retro 50s design, or it's like reminis reminiscent of a, a 50s, 1950s sharpener. And then that one that has a knurled, a knurled um, it's not a turning knob, a yeah, a knob here that you can actually turn. So they're all three have the same base. That one, most simple one, that one with that turning wheel or knob, and then that one that has essentially the same sharpener that just has a round thing around it so that you can hold on to it really nicely. You can also hold on to those nicely. It's just a design thing. Very, very nice that uh, that one here comes in a small cotton bag in which you can then transport it if you like to. I just have it on my desk like this because I don't want to open that thing every time. Really nice. Uh, and that is, of course, also really nice to transport that sharpener. I've, by, by the way, read online recently that the uh, grenade sharpener and the Pollux sharpener, that is uh, sharpeners by Möbius and Rupert that are around, they uh, do also um, fit into that thing. So if that's something uh, that is of interest to you. And um, let's have a look at that um, uh, little manual here that actually shows you how you get different points of your pencil depending in which on the position that you have that little wheel on here. So the position three gives you a very uh, pointy pencil that is used for sketching and technical drawings and stuff like that. Then the number two option gives you a smack in the middle point that you can use for, you know, whatever, writing or drawing or whatever. And then the number one gives you a slightly more blunt point, which is then very nice for writing. Um, okay, I have a two small kids that often draw with pencils. So I have a number of coloring pencils that I need to sharpen here anyway. So I just thought um, we're going to do some sharpening here and actually see how, how those perform and uh, what kind of a point they will give to those color pencils. I'm not a definite pencil expert. I don't know if color pencils are actually the best to test sharpeners or if I should actually rather use regular pencils. Um, I hope it's not blasphemic to do what I'm doing here, but um, I'm just going to use them and um, they work very well. They work very nice. They give you a very nice point, as you can see. So that is very nice. That is my second favorite here. Look at that. Beautiful, very nice. That cracked off here. That normally doesn't happen. Maybe it's these color pencils. 
pencil i'm not sure but okay most interestingly of course this one here so we're going to use the option one here right now um which if you turn that wheel you see this is the first second now that allows the point to slide in a little more and then the third allows the point to slide in even more and that is how it actually by allowing the pencil to slide in a little bit more or not so deep it um yeah it allows for giving it a different point we're going to start with number with the option number one and uh, then compare the three points that we are getting with the three different options this is oh, camera has difficulties of focusing number one and i'm going to compare them then later on again um, use this one here go to number two very nice blade very convenient doesn't break off the shavings and whatever that works really 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 nice so that's what we're getting with that one slightly more pointy i'd say and then we go actually to number three and use one last pencil one last coloring pencil works really really well that's my favorite sharpener because like by carrying that with me i always have access to three different points and there we have it three two and one very nice product really nice you have one sharpener and you are able to achieve three different points with that um i hope that review was useful to you as well and i'll get you see at the next review bye bye